to the In and Out with Boo show. I'm your host Carmen. And I'm your host Yadi. And for today, we're filming our very first episode. And for this episode, we'll be talking about exactly who your hosts are and why we wanted to start start this show. Okay, so first, we're gonna talk about exactly who we are and where our ethnicity, basically, and our background. So. And our family and everything. Um, well, my name is Yuritsa. <coughs> Sorry, just <laughs> <laughs> My name is Yuritsa. Um, I go by Yadi because, you know, most of the people are like, what's your name again? And it's just complicated, you feel me? So, um, I'm here. I was born here in North Carolina. Um, and my family is from Guatemala. Yeah, both of my parents. Um, they both came here around when they were like 16, 14-ish. And then, yeah, they had their life here. And then they had me. My name is Carmen, and I was born in North Carolina, Durham, and... We're supposed to say Durham, too? It doesn't matter. Like, I feel like they should know we're both from Durham. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're both from Durham. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're I didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I was born in Durham, and my dad, he was born in Mexico. You know, Guanajuato. Right. Uh, and my mom was born in a small village in Korea, and... I think my dad came around, like, came here to the U.S. around during his, like, like early 20s, maybe. And my mom, she came here when she was, like, six, seven years old. But, yeah, that's my whole background. Yes. Um, next, we're going to talk about um, what we're interested in and why we chose to stay involved with Boost. Yeah. You go okay. first. So, I'm... I feel like when I was in middle school, when I started to go to this program, I was really interested in like, just kind of finding who, what I was interested in and who I am, because I feel like during that age, I didn't really know, like I wasn't really interested in anything other than like drawing and doing just normal kid stuff. So when I came to the program, it kind of just opened my eyes and I was able to find out that I'm actually really interested in like, you know, maybe the medical field because, you know, for the future, I'm looking forward to being a marketer for a pharmaceutical company. And it just kind of like opened my eyes. So the reason why I wanted to stay in Boost was because my brother, well, my older brother, Felipe had came here first and he really wanted me to come join the program, even though, you know, I kind of, wasn't willing to because I was in sixth grade and I was kind of in that phase, you know, that, that little emo phase. <laughs> <laughs> so when I came to the program, it kind of just opened, you know, my eyes to all the medical and STEM fields that I could be interested in. And I think this program really helped me find myself and what career I wanted to be in because now I know that I want to be a marketer for a pharmaceutical company when I grow older. And not only is it helping me, but it's also helping my other younger brothers. My other younger brother, Francisco, he joined the program and I think he's really helping him out with, you know, finding out what he wants to do in life because I think that's important for all kids. And I also wanted to help not only, you know, the younger siblings in my family and who I care about, but other kids as well because everyone needs to find who they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I'm interested in, I'm more interested of in biology, um, planning on staying in the medical field, um, and yeah, um, and how I got into Boost. So how I got into Boost is it was like weird, not weird, but like it was, it was, it was a fun experience. Um, so Doug used to go, Doug and I think it was Alejandra who were going around school to school. Um, they were like choosing out kids and then I get my name called. I was like, oh, what is this? First, I didn't want to join Boost because I remember when they came to our school, they were talking about it and I was like, I'm just not interested enough. And I get my name called and then I go to the cafeteria and then we start doing this game. What opened me was that one game that Doug did with me with the coins. It was like a coin game. I don't remember specifically because it has been like five years now. Um, and yeah, and then he gave me like the little piece of paper. He's like, whoever brings it in first, 
will be in it and that Friday June 1st I bought it because it was a Friday so I bought it on a Monday I was like okay here and then I remember when my dad got the email he's like no he, it was a call and then he was like oh yeah you got in it and I was like really I was like I was so happy um but during that time I was thinking of being a teacher um I wasn't really open into doing science that was the only reason why I didn't want to join because it wasn't teacher related or like you know movie related but I had a good communication with others and um yeah and I'm also bilingual too so I speak both Spanish and English yeah mm -hmm. so it kind of helps out and it gives me like a better opportunity so um yeah and I've been here now for five years um my JC year now and I want to help students out like how other JC, JCITs, JCs, and coaches help me out. I mean, like, I, don't, I didn't have any siblings to put me in like Carmen had, but I have two younger siblings and they will most definitely be coming here in the future. So for our last thing, we want to talk about the most memorable thing that we remember during Boost because I feel like, you know, that should be an important thing that we should let not only, uh, like everyone know. So mm -hmm. I think the most memorable thing that happened in Boost for me was when we went to the field trip. It was this overnight field trip. Oh, that was it the, the beach? Yeah, the yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah the beach. Way. Yeah, was it sixth grade, seventh grade? It was Boost, yeah, sixth grade. So that was my only field trip that I got to do in like middle school because I think COVID had ended like, you know, seventh yeah. and eighth grade uh -huh. year for me. And it was like a really fun experience, not only for me to learn more about science and all that stuff, but also to connect with like, you know, people, you know, that I can have connections with. And this, I, I only met her through Boost. If I didn't go to Boost, then I would have never met Yari. And exactly, yeah. I would have, this never would have been happening. I would have haven't been like the outspoken person that I am now because, yeah. you know, I got comfortable with her and then I got comfortable with other people. And I was like, well, this isn't bad, you know, just showing off and like talking and, you know. I, I can talk too much sometimes, but it's better to talk something than nothing. <laughs> and I think Boost, it, it really helped me not only, like, to figure out who I am, but to, like, learn that it's okay to start talking and not to be, you know, because I was really shy. Like, I'm talking about real shy. You remember, In yeah. middle school, I was like, I would not talk. I would not do anything. I always wore a hoodie. I'm emo face. <laughs> but it was like... I got to connect not only with like other kids my age, like at school, but like with other people who could really just talk to me. And I think I gained a lot of experience talking to other people and becoming more outgoing, outgoing. But yeah, that was my most memorable experience because it was like we got to sleep in like a cabin and everything. And it was kind of like, you know, I got to talk to all the girls. Yeah, and we, we were all separated into the boys and girls cabin. Yeah. And at night when we were sleeping, she fell asleep with shorts. To be specific, jean shorts. We were like, how are you so comfortable with sleeping with jean shorts? <laughs> it, it was the only thing I had. You act like I willingly, who willingly does that? Okay. The trip was going to the beach. I remember it, like going to the beach. I had um, a couple friends of mine. That was the time when I still wasn't talking to her because she would like oh yeah um, she would was... go earn away because she already knew some people here and i was just like to the girl um and i just remember just like sitting there by the we couldn't even get in the water because oh we, yeah we, just it's an incident yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah it wasn't a bad incident it wasn't us it, it was something happening outside it was the prior before yeah. us getting there so yeah and yeah. plus it was like the tides were like really strong, strong. so yeah, yeah. We could just put our feet in, that's basically it. But yeah, that's what I remember. And I remember cutting a squid open. Really? Yeah, we did a squid. We did a oh, squid section. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I remember the breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was like a whole table. the iced tea. I remember the iced tea, the iced tea uh -uh. bro. But yeah. So, okay. So I remember most was... This was recent, actually. It was the field trip that we went to the Museum of Life and Science. Um, the one I, that happened, like, last month? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I, this time I didn't go as a scholar. I went as um, as a JC. 
and it was just you know it was really fun interacting with the scholars running around with them going on like top of like this um i don't remember what, it was like this like wooden house that oh yeah i saw that yeah, yeah. They're, they're big thing it's gonna be and um just connecting with them and getting closer with them um it was fun um we were you know having fun and since i already knew uh already some of the museum of life and science because in elementary school i would go there every every year it would be the yearly field trip and i just knew everywhere around so like i knew where to take the kids specifically since if they had like an interest some of them want to go see bears some of them want to go run around in the mist some of them just wanted to stay inside and see the space uh, space exhibition um but yeah it was really fun uh we had a great time there and took very a lot of pictures too you know i have a lot of pictures with them um but yeah so you well y'all like reached the end of the first episode of in and out with boost a it was a show created by me and carmen we hope you come back to watch our next episode where you'll get to know the staff at the boost program since thanksgiving is coming up we wish you a happy Thanksgiving, happy and Thanksgiving. we really want to thank you for listening. If you yes. listen to the whole video, listen to the whole thing. Listen to the whole thing. Listen to the whole thing. You'll be a goat if you listen a to goat. the whole thing. A goat. Okay. A goat. Yes. Bye. Ten to ten. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.